Nick Moore is fired from Fox News. Uh, he's not just going on CNN. He's also uh, going on his own website, and he's explaining his uh, new theories. Oh, thanks God, this must be great. So he's going to explain why Latinos are actually secretly Republicans. Oh, fantastic. Let's find it. At core, these voters are Republican. They're not Democrat, they're Republican. They're just like any other immigrant group that came to the United States. Irish, Italians, Germans, uh, Welsh, Scots, Jews. They come in poor, identify with the Democratic Party, Tammany Hall used to run them, and then as they move up economically, because they're very ambitious and very upwardly mobile, they switch and begin to vote more and more Republican. Oh no, yeah, that's uh, definitely what's happened with Latinos, except for the fact that that hasn't happened at all. They voted over 70% in favor of President Obama, and in fact, since even George W. Bush, they have been voting more and more in favor of Democrats, less and less in favor of Republicans. McCain got less votes than Bush did, and Romney got less votes than McCain did. So this theory is, as usual with Dick Morris, totally made up, out of whole cloth, okay? But it's about to get much better. The only group that has not followed that trajectory are African Americans. Uh, they used to vote Republican. Uh, after Lincoln and uh, they stayed Republican until the Civil Rights Bill of 1964 passed and then when Goldwater opposed that and he was the Republican nominee the blacks began to feel all Republicans were racist and they stopped voting Republican and have voted 90 percent Democrat ever since now he's just getting warmed up on African Americans we're gonna get to the better point in a second but l listen to that Gee, I wonder why they thought that we were racist when we all decided that they shouldn't have civil rights. And not only, it was just Goldwater, they did a southern strategy where the Republican Party purposely went out to get white votes in the South, G8. I wonder how they did that. Well, we don't have to wonder about it. Former head of the RNC apologized. Ken Melman apologized for the southern strategy because it was specifically meant to be racist. We're against black people. We don't want them to have civil rights. All you whites in the South, vote for us. Oh, African Americans, I mean, they're crazy for voting for Democrats. All right, but it, like I said, gets better. And when you say to them, which model would you like to see? The Italian, Irish, Jewish model of you come here, you work hard, you family oriented, you move up and you succeed, or the African-American model, you come here, you remain cohesive as a group, you fight for political power, you seek to maximize entitlements, and you fight uh, for your ethnic group as an ethnic group. They overwhelmingly prefer, prefer the traditional immigrant model. So let me get this right. African-Americans came here seeking entitlements. That's not quite how I remember it. <laughs> okay. Like, oh man, what an entitlement it would be to come here in bondage and work for you for free. Yeah, wow. You got him there, Dick. Uh, J.R. Jackson, um, was this part of the secret strategy all along? <laughs> I mean, what can I say? You know, uh, uh, African immigrants um, were just <laughs> bad businessmen. You know, you come to the country, and usually, like other immigrants, you go for your upward mobility. You go, you work hard. You build up your business and you make you get that American dream. Somehow we just forgot that part, Zima. I mean, just to take a job for no money was just a bad way to start. I don't know how you ever recover from something like that. When your ancestors are so stupid not to not to demand their pay, I mean, what can you do? I mean, we're just kind of screwed from the beginning. So I get it. And they hold on to this fight. You see how he's, his description as black people fight with their all the time. He, his this was gripped so hard in that in that description. You know, they hold on to their, they want, they want political power. What the fuck else you want us to do here? Not just sit back? Because that's what other immigrant groups do. They don't get involved with their government. They don't get involved with the process of choosing their leaders. And their, I'm sorry, their representatives for their causes. No, no just, just, just sit back and let us do what the hell we want to do to you. I can't believe you're fighting. You fight, like, you black people are always fighting. Just and by the way, chill. fighting for entitlements. Because when blacks came here, that was their strategy, was to fight for entitlements. As slaves, they were literally entitled to nothing, okay? And get a load of how unbelievable racism is that they flip it on its head. Ah, uh, they just wanted free stuff. You wanted their free labor. That's why you enslaved them and brought them over here. And then you turn around and you go, 
See, every, all the other immigrants are good, but those African Americans, they're so lazy. Lazy? You had to work to death sometimes for nothing. That's what slavery is. But then you have the nerve to say, oh, they were, imply that they were lazy, and all they cared for was entitlements. I mean, if you didn't think Dick Morris was loathsome before, but well, you were wrong, because he's incredibly loathsome.